how to integrate a quotation using a comma, a colon, or without any punctuation at all. The word integrate means to combine one thing with another so that they become a whole. Integrating quotations involves combining your words with somebody else's words to make one complete sentence. For example, in Alexander Solzhenitsyn's account of the Soviet prison system, he writes, the line dividing good and evil cuts through the heart of every human being. This sentence combines my words with Alexander Solzhenitsyn's to make one complete sentence. Here's another way I could have integrated the quotation. In the Soviet prison system, Solzhenitsyn comes to a startling realization about human nature. The line dividing good and evil cuts through the heart of every human being. And here's another way I could have integrated the quotation. Solzhenitsyn's experience as a Soviet prisoner teaches him that the line dividing good and evil cuts through the heart of every human being. These are three ways to integrate a quotation, with a comma, with a colon, and without any punctuation. Let's review each one. With a comma, use a comma when the word that comes before or after the quotation is a verb suggesting an utterance or a thought, such as says, asks, explains, ponders, believes, thinks, writes, recalls, and states. These are all verbs that suggest an utterance or a thought. Remember this example from earlier? Writes is our verb, followed by a comma. Also, use a comma when the quotation comes before a short introductory phrase, such as, according to the author, or in his or her opinion. Here's an example. According to Solzhenitsyn is our phrase, followed by a comma. How about integrating with a colon? Use a colon when a complete sentence comes before the quotation. This kind of colon, not this kind. Remember this example from earlier. A complete sentence is followed by a colon. And finally, how to integrate without any punctuation. Don't use any punctuation when the word that comes before the quotation. And that is a good idea. Remember this example from earlier? No punctuation is used after the word that. Also, don't use any punctuation if the quotation fits naturally into your sentence. For example, Solzhenitsyn describes how good and evil exists in the heart of every human being. Congratulations! You've learned three ways to integrate quotations. With a comma, with a colon, and without any punctuation.